up, friends? This is Jess, bringing you not only another unboxing video, but a what I got this month, which is going to be a new series because I'm not going to have bargain hauls all the time. So I will update you what I got with the money that I was allowed to spend each month. Now, to start with, I'm unboxing these, which the first one is One Day at Horrorland, Werewolf Village, The Doom Slide, The Coffin Crews, Welcome to the Feed Park where Nightmares Come to Life, Enter Horrorland for the very first time in this classic prequel to an all-new Goosebumps Horrorland series. Wait, is it to the all-new horror? Okay. It says, look in the back of the book includes tips and tricks for the Goose Up Horrorland video game and other secrets from your favorite stream park. So let's see what we got there. I talk about the stats. R.L. Stein's questionnaire. Tips and Trips for the Horror Goosebumps Horrorland video game. A Dummy Guide to Goosebumps Horrorland. So I guess it talks about different things, you know. Like it, it as I said, I don't know that series enough. But it just continues to a bunch of the chapters. And that, that's it. This is the one, as I said, One Dead Horror Land. This is the recovered version of it that has these bonuses. Which cover do I like better? I do particularly like the original one a little bit better. But, you know, with the so same story inside. Like, there might be some differences within these books where, like, maybe since it's older, they may have to change certain things, you know, that may not have been allowed in this time. I don't know, I've read a few of the books that have changed certain sayings, but they meant the same thing, in a way. But this is the same story, anyway. And the last thing that I'm unboxing today is... You Can't Scare Me. Now, perhaps I should have done this one first, but you know what, I just grabbed and just... So I have to show them as I grab them. This is book 15 of the series, and this is book... Yeah, this is upside down. This is book 16 of the series. The, you know, the original 62, 63. I'm going to have to put a correction in there. Alright. Courtney is a total show-off. She thinks she's so brave. And she's always making Eddie and his friends look like wimps. But Eddie's had enough. He's going to scare Courtney once and for all. And he's just come up with the perfect plan. He's going to lure her down to Muddy Creek. Courtney believes that silly rumor about mud monsters that live in this cr the creek. Too bad Eddie doesn't believe in the rumor because it just might be true. Now, it says, look in the book for including the muckiest monsters and other gross fun. So, here we go again, back to some of the special features. Including another chapter there. Alright. This is behind the scenes of You Can't Scare Me. Talks about, about the offer. The Q&A with R.L. Stein. Return of the Mummy. Okay, that's just talking about spider stats, soups on, <laughs> the sacred smart, how well do you know goosebumps, oh shoot, uh, I wonder how many all we did of this right. <laughs> you know what? Let's just do this here now while we're doing this 
catch up video again. I apologize no videos for a long time, so this will make up for it. Let's see. Okay. How well you know Goosebumps? At the end of Night of the Living Dummy, Lindy and Chris defeat Mr. Woody by chasing him under a steamroller, letting their dog chew him to bits, covered him in monster. Oh, shoot. Uh... Chasing him under a steamroller? Oh, son of a god. Okay. When Carly Breath put on the, his hideous mask, or on her hideous Halloween costume in the haunted mask, she's shocked. She, she, she is shocked to become very, very angry? What happens to Evan's Cocker Spaniel Trigger after he eats a little of the bright green goo from Wagoner's Novelty and what's what? He doubles in size. I do know that one. Jeez, I'm really gonna have to go back and check out. Oh, here's another one. In the ho okay, I never read that yet. I didn't read that yet. Okay. What doesn't Sam wish for and be careful what you wish for? to win the basketball game because she did wish Judith met the crystal woman instead of her and for Judith to disappear she what she wished for should be the strongest on her basketball team that is what she wished for all right okay I haven't read that part yet again there's a few of them I never read yet in the curse of the mummies tube game is prize with sorry Uh, oh shoot. Okay, let me see. Maybe hides in the mummy's sarcophagus? What happens when Greg takes his own picture and say cheese and die? Uh, okay, nothing. Craig never takes a picture of himself. I believe so. Either that or he... No, he doesn't get into a car accident, so... I'm confused. Oh, the answers are down there. So, the what about the eight? Answers A, da, 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 eight. Is. Eight is. I was wrong. She saved him from the scorpions. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I suck at these. Um... Let's see, what was the answer for number two? Number two was A, I was correct about that. Um, okay, number one. I was correct. I was correct how they defeated the Mr. Wood. It was under a steamroller. I, you know what, I did pretty good for the ones that I didn't answer. The ones I did answer, I got only like one wrong, which I feel stupid. But it was, for me, it was either A or B, or uh, like either the scorpion or the hiding in the sarcophagus. It was so long since I read The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. I have to go back and reread that. But anyway, sorry about that, guys. I sort of got a little hooked with these questions. Must have mud. And then there's just the newest chapter for the Horrorland Slappy's New Year. But okay, I unboxed these two things and did a quiz. So, what are the rest of the things that I've gotten with my check? Well, the starters, I got the Sims 4 eco lifestyle stuff eco lifestyle you know the expansion pack which was on sale for 31 dollars so my aunt let me get it like she knew it wouldn't be on sale for she let me get it early and i also got the game my lovely daughter which includes like for steam it includes the 
DLC Sacrificial Sons and The Inquisitor and that was 20 something bucks and how am I enjoying those two games? I'm playing The Sims slowly, I'm doing a generation challenge you know in a sense of the word like I, I, I would sub like it's more of a vanilla style generation I'm adding certain like changes to it but whatever makes it fun for me do I use mods? Yes. Yes. That, like, that's the one game I always play with some type of, not uh, cheats, but yes and no. I, I've been playing a lot of games without cheats now and doing it fairly, but some people agree that cheats and the mods and the sims just make the co-experience better. That just, everyone agrees on that, so I'm not the only one who does that, so ha, sue you guys who, who say, oh, but it's no fun. Again, I am not the only one who does these things. But anyway, the last thing I got is Goosebumps, Why I'm Afraid of Bees. I believe that's what it's called. It's book number 17 in the series. I'm slowly building my Goosebumps collection. And once I get this last book, this didn't come in yet, which I'll probably still do an unboxing for anyway, separately of this. But this one actually has the original cover. I don't think there is a new cover of that one, but I had to look there and make sure there wasn't much writing in it and checking, you know, like, the condition of it. But I don't want it to fall apart in my hand. That, that, that's just the thing. Like, I have to be, I had to pay maybe a little bit more for this one than these two here, but to get it in a decent condition, but I got it. As I said, I've become a big Goosebumps nerd in the last few four or five months like I got right I used to love them as a kid and it just just got into a big nostalgia kick like I am with Rugrats which again I still love too I just I'm just excited like I got with for, with this month's amount of money I got three books in two games or three books in two games yeah, I'm terrible at counting now. What I'm doing each month now is I'm keeping track, like I'm prioritizing what I want to get, rather than, oh, oh, when I get my money, oh, I want this, oh, I want this. I try to plan out a little bit more to try to think beforehand for I'm not going crazy with it. And I already have a start plan for my next, next time I get money, which will be, you know what, I'll save that for next, you know, months video. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I'll see you guys in my next video.